In this video, we're gonna be going over something that might be considered the most important aspect of your online business, and that's your checkout pages. If it's a long drawn out process, I doubt people are gonna buy. Just a reminder to check out ReviewOnlineCourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, Thinkific, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. All right, let's drop right in here. We are on the back end of Kajabi to find offers. It used to be found under products. It no longer is. You can find offers under sales. Now we're talking about checkout. Why would I actually be talking about offers? Well, think of them as a bridge. When you create an offer, you're essentially creating a price tag for your product. And with that price tag, with that offer comes a checkout page. So when you create a product, there's no checkout page associated with that. You have to create an offer and then the checkout page, which is attached to that. So just think of a, a product as something you build, digital product that you can actually create, inf you know, build information in and sell. And then an offer is the price tag for that product. And that is adjoined with the checkout page. I hope that makes sense. I, I confused myself a little bit with that one, but <laughs> I digress. Let's jump right in. Here we are sales. Click on the sales button here that will open up right at the top offers. I already have some offers built. So let's just take a look at these. Let's take a look at this top one right here because it's the closest. Um, from here, we you'll notice this is an offer. We have the ability to change the, the title of the offer, the description, um, include certain products in it, an upsell if we want that, and a cart abandonment. We can limit the amount of offers or yeah, that offers that are sold. We can put a little picture right here, which is really cool. Now this is the offer we can create this. Now this is not the checkout page though. If you want to edit the checkout page, which is extremely important, go over here and click on edit checkout. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Well, here we are creating a template that looks just clean. We don't want to scare people away. We don't want there to be a process that's so intimidating that they don't want to actually buy the product that can happen in the online space. They're on their own discretion. They can get distracted. Lots of things can happen. So you have the chance to put a picture right here. You have a chance right here to, to tell you, you know, give some description about what the product, um, or sorry, yeah, the product and the offer entails, and then the ability to actually pay through PayPal, credit card, and then just put your email address down below. Plus there's some description aspects right here. Now over here is some of the customizable options, which is really cool. We have offer details, just renaming the offer, um, changing the color of this. This color scheme might not be blue, might not go with your brand and you want to be on brand. So let's just say the color is red and white. Well, it's probably a good idea to make this button red. That way it just it's just very uniformed and the process feels very natural for the customer as they go through that user experience of your website. We have the ability to have extra content information. If we click this, we could add, um, we could collect an address, you know, a physical address. We could do a, a phone number. We could collect a name and password. You can just click on this stuff and it gets added right here. And so it's a pretty awesome way and a quick way to actually create um, a checkout page that will have more information or collect more information about your, your member or your potential customer. We have a service agreement. These are really important because when people are buying your product, there's a lot of things you want to stipulate, right? You know, maybe like a liability claim or disclaimer, you know, that you're not re responsible if anyone gets hurt. So these service agreements are really important. And sometimes you want to make those mandatory that they agree to the terms and conditions or the service agreement of the site in order to purchase and use this product. And of course, testimonials, which is social proof. And it's so important on the online business. I uh, can change the navigation footer and we can even have an order bump. So it's an opportunity for someone to go through the checkout page and then immediately be hit with a little bump offer. that says, hey, notice your interest in this. Would you also like this? It's almost like a suggestion. You see that in Netflix. They say, since you like this true crime TV show, you might also like these other true crime 
TV shows. Amazon's doing this all the time. Oh, hey, maybe bundle them together because people also bought this product. So this order bump is another awesome way to, to actually offer something while they're in the process of checking out. It's a hard thing to get someone to, to pull out their credit card and to buy. So if they're interested in doing that, you might as well offer more opportunity and more products and more information for them to actually acquire while their credit card is out. I mean, it would make sense to me. Um, that right there is a pretty, pretty quick, easy tutorial on how to edit a checkout page and why it's so important for kind of really making sure that you are getting the most quality customers and the, and the actual quality experience as they go through your membership site um, and go through your purchase and your checkout process. So if there's any questions about these checkout pages within Kajabi, please, by all means, leave a comment down below. And like always, I will see you guys in the next video.